Do you guys remember when people choked on cinnamon just to entertain the internet? That is not what this video is about. Nowadays it's like replaced with a Kylie Jenner lip challenge. Like some people like have their lips bleed. Anyways, I am sitting crisscross applesauce on this chair and whipping my hair. I whip my hair back and forth. But today's video is not about making your lips look like Kylie Jenner's or about, about choking on cinnamon. Today I want to talk to you about GMOs and just give you a little bit of food for thought. GMOs are in a lot of things and we've all heard of them. So what is a GMO? Many people probably know that they are genetically modified organisms. So what does that mean? They're bad. So what does it do to you? Oh, cancer? Perhaps. But I just wanted to dive a little bit deeper into GMOs, kind of explain them a little bit and give you some food for thought because when it comes to nutrition, we want to feed our bodies right, but are GMOs actually that bad or are they way worse than we think? So let's just start off with how GMOs are put in food. Let's say that I have tasty looking tomato. It's a really tasty looking tomato, isn't it? Um, let's say that I want, I have a crop and, or I'm a big, big factory that serves tomatoes to McDonald's and I have this and I want my tomato to be bigger and juicier and grow faster. What can I do? I can go into the tomato and every single living thing has DNA. DNA is the blueprint for what happens to us. So this tomato already has a gene within its DNA um, that is turned off. But as a scientist, you can go in there and touch that little gene and kind of tickle it, tickle, tickle the tomato, and then that little gene will turn on, making the tomato more drought resistant, making the tomato redder or bigger. So it's taking something that's already in the tomato, kind of like a light switch, and just flipping it on. Now another example, let's say I'm sure we've all heard of Monsanto, or the corn, or it's bad for us, or these pesticides and stuff like this. Let's say that this is no longer a tomato, now this is a piece of corn. Now let's say that as a farmer we want this corn to be drought resistant. This corn does not have the gene that we want to flip on and tickle. So what do we have to do? We can take a gene from another plant or another animal and put it into this. Now that doesn't happen all the time, but basically what's happening is that a lot of GMOs are thought of as bad because they make plants pesticide resistant. So what does that mean? I can spray an entire crop of corn with toxic, toxic chemicals and this corn will not die. So that no matter what, with drought, with insect bites, um, with, you know, all of this chemical spray, all the weeds will die and my corn will live very happily ever after and give people a lot of food. Now, is that good or bad for your body? When it comes to eating GMO food, if I ate a tomato that was, you know, just GMO, it didn't have pesticides, it wasn't, um, you know, whatever, but it had a genetically modified component, would that do anything to me? We don't exactly know. People say that it won't cause cancer, people say that it will, but the truth is just because a gene in a tomato or in a piece of corn is turned on doesn't mean that it will turn my genes on. Doesn't mean that it'll turn my little switch on and tickle my switch to grow bigger or be drought resistant. That's not how it works. This gene within the plant cannot transfer into my DNA. So when you think about it, are GMOs really that bad? Can they do such detrimental stuff to us? But now when we think about it, what does GMOs go handy with? Pesticides. So if we're buying an organic product that's non-GMO and non-pesticided, we're not getting those pesticides. If we buy a product that has GMOs in it but is not pesticided, would we still be okay? The concern is that almost all of the plants that have the genes tickled on have been sprayed with pesticides. So it's not like, oh my god, we're getting GMOs, that's bad. It's if they're getting GMOs, that means that the toxic chemicals of the pesticides didn't kill them. So now we're eating the pesticides that are on and in these plants. And I personally think that that's probably more of a concern than the fact that these are GMOs. And why are GMOs good? What if I told you GMOs are actually great? You're gonna be like, what the heck? There have been GMOs in rice that make rice more nutritional, grow faster, and be drought resistant. Now why would we want that? In third world countries where people cannot get protein, they cannot get fats, they cannot get nutrition, giving them a grain of rice or a sack of rice, which is very inexpensive to make, or corn, or whatever it is, that they can use to feed their families and get nutrition is saving lives. GMOs are saving lives on a momentous level, and those people they're not caring if there's toxic chemicals in them. If they don't have food for a week, they're gonna die faster than if they eat GMOs and die a couple tens of years later from cancer or whatever it may be. 
So GMOs are actually lifesavers and could really be the key um, to helping a lot of people in other societies. Problem is, for those of us who are not worried about where we're going to find our next meal, when it comes to GMOs, are they actually bad? I personally think it's the chemicals because if we're G eating the GMOs, that means that we are eating the chemicals that were sprayed onto the GMO plant and the plant lived through that. So now we're ingesting those chemicals. But the GMOs themselves, are they bad or are they not? So leave a comment and tell me what you guys think about this. Um, do a little research. There are some great documentaries on Netflix. There are a lot of great papers on PubMed. It's like a just you can look at papers online. Um, not all of them are legitimate, but you know, check your research and check your resources. But let me know if you guys currently eat GMOs, if you do or if you don't, why you do or don't, what you think about GMOs, and whether or not you think that they're as bad as people make them out to be, or if it's the chemicals or anything else. But I love you guys. It's just a little food for thought because I'm a little conflicted on it myself, but just kind of my two cents and the way um, my education has kind of forced me to think. But, but GMOs or not, I love you guys. If I ever become pesticide resistant and drought resistant. I hope you still love me. Anyways, um, I really care about you guys. Leave a comment and let's continue this conversation. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. And remember, don't choke on cinnamon for the entertainment of the internet. It is not good for your health. That is even worse than eating GMOs because you can choke and die. Or bust up your lips if you're doing the Kylie Jenner lip challenge. Anyways, I love you guys and I will see you all in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.